The Forgotten Battle The Biggest Tank Battle in British Army History Following the successful D-Day landings in Normandy, momentum slowed and came to a standstill in front of Caen. Hitler had boasted if the Allies landed in Europe, he would throw them back into the sea. Although the Allies had not been thrown back into the sea, they were largely contained, blocked by the iron fist of the armoured panzer divisions. Allied strategy was to draw German armoured divisions to the British, allowing the Americans to break out to the west. By the end of June 1944, all German armoured forces in Normandy were concentrated on the British front. Facing the British and Canadians were six and a half German panzer divisions. Facing the Americans, one and a half. Operation Epsom was intended to outflank Khan to the west, establish a bridgehead south of the River Oden and advance on the River Orne. Key to this was to take the strategic high ground between the Oden and Orne rivers. Known as Hill 112, it has a commanding view over the surrounding countryside in every direction. From there, the British would capture fillets and cut off major elements of the German army in a pincer movement. 26 of June 1944, the British 30th and 8th Corps faced a well-dug-in 12th SS Panzer Division and 26th Grenadier Regiment. The attack started with a massive artillery and naval bombardment. The Scots 15th Division were unstoppable and advanced rapidly through open fields of wheat. At Schur, the fighting was so fierce that the Glasgow Highlanders lost a quarter of their strength in a single day. The British threatened to outflank Khan from the west, and Field Marshal Rommel ordered the 2nd SS Panzer Corps into the battle. The 49th Infantry Division breaks through and Rora is taken, but a counter-attack by Panzers blocks further progress. The German eastern and southern flanks are reinforced. The 1st SS Panzer Corps launches a counter-attack with 80 tanks. This founders on the anti-tank guns of the 49th West Riding Infantry Division. The Highland Light Infantry, with support from Churchill tanks, make a bid to take the Oden Crossing at Gavras. With great bravery, the 15th Scottish fought off Panzer counter-attacks, allowing the 11th Armoured to cross in the morning of the 28th of June. The 23rd Hussars, with infantry, advanced on Hill 112. The Germans dig in on the reverse slope. During the night, a 2,500-strong battle group from the 2nd SS Panzer Division arrive at the front. The British 11th Armoured Division advances towards Hill 112. A German unit, equipped with 88mm flat guns, devastates the British but stubbornly they remain on the northern flank of the hill. 29th of June, the 9th and 10th SS Panzer Divisions arrive to reinforce the German front. The 15th Scottish Division, supported by artillery, fought off the 9th and 10th SS Panzer Divisions with spectacular success and knocked out 38 Panzers. The 11th Armour Division tanks fight their way to the crucial position on Hill 112. The Tiger tanks of the 101st SS Panzer attack the 11th Armoured Division on the southern flank of Hill 112. The fighting is confused with attack and counter-attack. Ultra German radio intercepts reveal the 2nd SS Panzer Corps has arrived at the front. Lieutenant General Miles Dempsey, fearing a major counter-attack and the 11th Armoured being cut off, ordered a withdrawal. This would prove a mistake. The cost in men and tanks to retake the hill would be high. On the 30th of June, the day begins with a powerful German artillery barrage, completely devastating the top of Hill 112. The 10th SS Panzer Division, with two infantry regiments, attack Hill 112. After fierce fighting, the Germans retake the hill. 250 RAF heavy bombers destroy Villers Bocage headquarters of the 1st SS Panzer Corps and vital crossroads. On the 1st of July, the 9th SS Panzer Division makes one last attempt to force the British back. The attack fails. An attack from Hill 112 
by the 10th SS Panzer Division is broken up by heavy shelling. 30 German tanks were destroyed, mostly by the 49th West Riding Infantry Division. 400 Panzer Grenadiers lay dead on the northern slope of the hill. The fighting is brutal on both sides and often no quarter is given. The 49th Division, known as the Polar Bears, were called by Lord Hawhaw the Polar Bear Butchers. In previous days, the Panzer Armoured Regiment had destroyed 62 British tanks. On the 4th of July, new German reinforcements arrive, equipped with Tiger tanks. They attack Hill 112 and are subject to heavy British bombardment. The Tiger tanks fall back under heavy attack by artillery and Allied fighter bombers. On the 9th of July, the Allies enter Caen. The British attack and hold on firmly to Hill 112. The capture of Hill 112 was disastrous for the Germans, and the collapse of the German positions at the southwest of Caen quickly followed. It took the Allies 41 days to seize Hill 112, instead of the 40 hours expected at the start of the Epsom operation. The loss of Hill 112 would end for many German soldiers in the fillet's pocket. British casualties were just over 4,000 and 150 tanks. German losses were more than 3,000 men and 126 tanks, which included 41 Panther and 25 Tiger tanks. 300 civilians in 19 villages also lost their lives during this terrible fighting. At that time, on the 600-mile eastern front, the Russians faced nine German divisions. On the 60-mile western front, the British were fighting ten German divisions, which included six Panzer divisions. The Germans committed their last reserves, the greatest concentration of Panzers since the Battle of Kursk, six Panzer divisions in an attempt to contain the British offensive. Eisenhower would berate Montgomery for the slowness of the British advance. Britain's Greatest Tank Battle we will remember them.